He's still raw, and it forever will be because he was just an amazing person. He always shied it away from the limelight. He didn't want it. It was all about the fighters getting the limelight. He made my career. If it wasn't for, for me coming across Oliver Harrison in my life, there's no way I would have gone on and achieved what I achieved, mainly because he believed in me when nobody else did. He did a lot for a lot of people in Salford and outside the areas, me, St. Helens, Rocky, Liverpool. He, he was just a lovely man um, who just sacrificed his time and and his wisdom. And, you know, and he, he didn't want to take back from it apart from just for you to do well. The world's a, definitely a worse off place for them not in it. I'd literally be sat here an hour talking about the good things he'd done for not just me, but for, for everybody we come into contact with. What a legacy, you know, he, he leaves. Um, obviously, Jamie flying the flag now with him in training. Um, you know, the the, the, the fights he produced. I'm going to go on to training. And you know what, to be honest, yeah, partly the reason that I'm going to go on to training, and I've said it many times, is because it'd be a, it'd be a waste for... Uh, for me, not to teach what Oliver taught me, he, t- he taught taught me a hell of a lot, and he he, he was he was just a lovely man who just wanted people to do well. And again, he didn't want anything in return, and he just gave you his time. And yeah, he, he he was just a selfless man. He had such a good eye for boxing and, and spotting a talent, um, and tactically was one of the cleverest men I knew. But I don't think that's what attracting me to him I just had a good feeling about him and I, and I think anybody who ever come across him will tell you the same he just made you feel good 